accord being signed uh, between the government of India, the Union Home Minister Amit Shah present there, between the government of India, the Assam government and ULFA, the United Liberation Front of Assam. Remember, this uh, follows a series of pacts that have been signed between militant groups in the Northeast. And this time, ULFA, one of the biggest militant groups in the Northeastern region, signing that peace pact with the government, really ending the decades old insurgency challenge of the northeastern uh, region. Just to give you a brief history of uh, Ulfa, it was founded on the 7th of April back in 1979 in Sivasagar, Assam. And Ulfa, remember, emerged with the objective of establishing an independent sovereign state for the indigenous Assamese people. And the group, in fact, began its armed operations in the late 1980s. It was led by figures like Paresh Barua, Arbinda Rajkoa, and Anup Chetia. The visuals on your screen, of course, are extremely, extremely important for the country. And historic pact being signed there between the center, the Assam government, and Ulfa. Initially, it was perceived as a group aiding the needy and the poor of Assam, but uh, Ulfa's tactics, remember, soon escalated to armed struggle against the Indian government. But those visuals on your screen ending that insurgency, that big, big insurgency problem that uh, the northeastern region, specifically Assam, has gone through over the past several decades, now coming to a close with Ulfa signing a pact with the centre signing a peace accord with the government of India. Now, this peace treaty is led by the pro-talk faction of Ulfa. It includes, uh, like I told you, the Indian government, the Assam government and the Ulfa leadership sitting right there. The visuals on your screens of that historic moment the peace accord being signed. Remember, this treaty aims to address issues such as illegal immigration, land rights for indigenous communities, as well as a financial package for Assam's development. The Ulfa faction is being led by Paresh Barua. That, uh, in fact, he remained opposed to the talks, but my colleague Pulkit is joining us for more on this. Pulkit, important historic peace accord being signed between the government of India and Ulfa, ending a decades old insurgency challenge of the northeastern region, specifically the state of Assam. All right, we'll try and reconnect with Pulkit. His audio connection seems to have a bit of a problem, but there you can see the visuals on your screen, Union Home Minister signing that peace pact on behalf of the government of India, the Ulfa, Assam government and centre reaching a peace pact, a tripartite peace accord that has been signed today. Remember, Ulfa emerged as, uh, you know, a group that is going to be standing for the rights of the poor and the needy of Assam. But in the later years, it eventually boiled down to an armed struggle against the Indian government. In fact, in later years, the Ulfa also saw significant shifts in its operations as well as ideology. There were some key arrests that were made. There were a few surrenders that happened. But that, all of that culminating to this historic peace accord being signed between the centre, the Assam government, Assamese Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma there, along with Union Home Minister Amit Shah and the Ulfa leadership. 
My colleague Amit Kumar is joining us uh, for more on this. Amit, a historic peace accord center, Assam government and Ulfa ke beech. Assam and Northeastern region ki ek bahut badi problem rahi hai insurgency. Aaj is peace pact ke tahet wo solve hoti hui nazar aa rahi hai. Yeah, mujhe lagta hai ki Assam ke liye ek bahut badi khabar hai kyunki Ulfa, agar aap dekhte to 79 se Paris Barua aur tamam log ke saath milke iska jab gathan hua tha. अरविंद राजकुमार थे और इसके बाद से लगातार वहां पर जो एक एक अशांति के में कहीं न कहीं एक बहुत बड़ा कंट्रीब्यूशन था जब उल्फा जो अलगाववादी के की तरह पड़ा हुआ था और वहां पर हिंसा हो रही थी लेकिन सरकार और केंद्र सरकार राज्य सरकार और उल्फा के बीच एक बहुत बड़ा समझौता हो रहा है और मुझे लगता है कि असम में शांति की सबसे बड़ी पहल होगी क्योंकि जब से अमित शाह गृहमंत्री बने हैं तो आपने देखा है कि न सिर्फ असम बल्कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट के जो तमाम जो अलगाववादी गुट थे एक एक करके उनके साथ लगातार समझौता हुआ है और उसी में एक बड़ा बड़े पहल की तौर पर आप देखिए कि आसाम में सबसे बड़े जो अलगाववादी ग्रुप है उल्फा उल्फा के लोग समर्थन में आ गए हालांकि उसका एक धड़ा है राजपुआ वाले जो ग्रुप है तो उसमें उसमें समर्थन हो रहा है और उसमें जो आज के आज के रिकॉर्ड में समझौता के बाद एक शांति की नई दिशा की तरफ आसाम में बढ़त होगी जिसमें अमित शाह होंगे अभी थोड़ी देर में ये होने वाला है सब लोग वहां पहुंच गए हैं गृह मंत्रालय में जहां पर अमित शाह हेमंत विश्व शर्मा और उषा के लोग हैं तो एक बहुत बड़ी पहल आप शांति की तरफ आप देख सकते हैं ये मार्च जो आज एक समझौता होने जा रहा है जी अमित थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट अमित एंड गेटिंग अस दोज डिटेल्स एज अमित माय कॉलीग वाज सेइंग दिस इज अ हिस्टोरिक मोमेंट फॉर द कंट्री नॉट जस्ट फॉर द स्टेट ऑफ असम और द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन बट द एंटायर कंट्री एज यू नो सक्सेसिवली द मोदी लेड गवर्नमेंट हैज सीन दैट पीस अकॉर्ड्स हैव बीन साइन बिटवीन डिफरेंट मिलिटेंट ग्रुप्स इन द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन दिस वन बीइंग वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ इट्स वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट militant groups of assam now of course are moving towards resolving that issue that big big issue of insurgency that the northeast region has seen in the past several decades historic day historic moment there as that tripartite peace pact is being signed between the center the assam government and ulfa we'll keep getting you more on that but uh, let's shift our focus and get you other updates